everybody's lifetime, there are three to four things when you come to a road of things where you have to go one way or another and make up your mind. And sometimes if you don't pick either or pick one, you end up regretting that for a very long time. And today I'm acting on, on those ambitions. I'm gonna do something that a lot of people are gonna think are crazy, unachievable, and just wildly unrealistic. But I'm, at the end of the day, I'm doing what feels right for me and chasing down my dream. I'm gonna go play college hockey this upcoming season at Vancouver Island University for the uh, the Mariners Hockey Club and the BCIHL um, new Good expansion program. And uh, yeah, it's exciting. I could not possibly be happier. How would you describe the goalie you are today? Uh, changed for sure. Um, I got to give credit to a lot of people. I mean, financially, academically, on the ice, just gave me the best opportunity to do what I want to do and keep playing hockey. And team, new program. I mean, moving three provinces over is just getting confident, getting a good feel, kind of settling, not being too nervous. I've seen years past, used to a lot more skates a week. Awkward. Straighten it out, slow it down a little bit. Everything tight, everything full. Use your size, take away any net that you can, right? There's no need to be on the goal line. Starting for the UV Mariners is Travis Ridgen. Gilderson going in alone with a shot. He scored with a beauty little shot and beat Ridgen. player and the player goal it doesn't matter any player your one personal goal is to have a coaching staff that sees your potential and gives you an opportunity to develop and succeed and obviously there's lots of stuff that goes on with any team but that just wasn't there and I don't see a purpose in being in a program if there's no potential or even opportunity to climb the ladder. As a player you just want an opportunity to succeed and just play for a coaching staff that believes in you. I don't think that was there this season. You would have asked me between the opening day of training camp and when I signed my letter of intent to play for the VAU Mariners two years ago. Me signing that letter of intent to play for the team, A, I had accomplished my goal of playing college hockey. Not only am I not being charged an arm and a leg for school, I'm actually getting a full ride. Like, I didn't have to pay for any of my schooling. I had such a good opportunity and a lot of it is on me. And I'll get to that in a second. But if I would have known now what I knew then, I probably would have stuck around with the team and stayed for another year and kind of seen how things went. I'm driving to Vancouver Island from Winnipeg to Calgary, staying the night in Calgary tonight. There are two types of people in this world. There are quitters and there are closers. Closers are people who close the deal, they get things done, they see things through. Quitters are what I am right now. A lot of things that I made mistakes on. So currently it's seven in the morning, we're a little past seven. The team's on the ice right now. I'm gonna have to head to the rink right away to get this meeting with the coaching staff. But this is what I came here for. The two day drive, all the effort, all the thought that went into this. Uh, this is basically, this is all it here. It takes a real man to admit that they made a mistake and look at the positives and say, okay, well, I can't change what I've, I've done in the past. I never will. And it's gonna be that way for the remainder of time. But what can I do right now to, to change things moving forward? And that's what I'm trying to do here. What I'm trying to do is paint a picture of the coaching staff of, listen, I made some mistakes, I'm a changed man, these are the mistakes I made, this is how I plan to improve upon them, and then I have the letter from the University of Manitoba by its coaching staff stating basically that everything I'm saying is true and that I'm not just blowing smoke, that this is the real deal, I have made changes to my game, and that, well, at least from the letter that they gave me, that I was a pleasure to deal with, although they didn't have a spot for me. Um, things worked out well, at least for, in their eyes. I'm seriously nervous because this is seriously ballsy what I'm about to do, and I just kind of hope I get the result I want. So, practice is over in about five minutes, give or take. Getting pretty nervous for this, to be honest. Um, don't want to be a distraction. I'm gonna wait till after practice. Coach walks out. I'm going to 
Uh, asked to strike up a conversation. I have my letter from the Bison's coaching staff, and uh, we'll see how things go. I'm trying to be prepared just in case if you're short on time or whatever happens. So, uh, we'll see what happens on update chapter. I'm getting to a point now where I think a lot of people have picked up on, on some of the positivity and the optimism that I've tried to show all off season. Um, it was one, one of the biggest changes I made to my game. I'm starting to run really, really thin on patience, on optimism, and positivity. Um, at this point in time, I would consider this getting cut. Um, so this would be the fifth or sixth different team that I've been cut from uh, in the last six months. And I'm, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do after this. I don't know what my career holds. We're basically beginning of December. I don't have a team to play on. I don't have anything. Um, I also got a text from our GM in Nipawat today that they're bringing out another guy who's local, and also they're not having to pay 45 bucks a night to come out to every game. Uh, so in a sense, I was also gassed from Nipawat today. I think the part that bugs me the most is that with all the effort and all the time that I put into my game this off season, to try to, to make the Bisons, to get an SB main camp invite, to stick in the Fed, it was all for nothing. And this, this letter that I thought was going to help me, it, um, not, nothing, nothing seems to be working. And I try to keep the mentality that it's in my own hands, and that I have control over that. And I still do believe that. But like I said, patience and all that stuff is running very thin. Um, I'm going to be heading home, I guess, tomorrow. And I, I don't know where I go from here. But two days of driving for nothing. So 